on this episode of my comment section is going to be filled with hate. Uh, Dear Trump supporters, part two. The first one, if you haven't watched it, is months and months and months ago where I talk about all of the things that I don't like about Donald Trump because you all say all the time that we couldn't list it. So I give you a nice list. You can go reference that video if you would like. But today I'm talking directly to you about y'all's behavior because y'all like to creep in my things, all my platforms, and I also have to listen to you talk and all your little talking points and all that stuff. So let's just do this. Can you stop doing these things, please? Please just stop doing these things. One, can you stop treating Trump like he is a god? Stop bowing at his stuff. Stop calling him the Messiah. Stop saying that he is your savior. He is a human being and a terrible one at that. And it's creepy when you worship a politician like he's a god. It is beyond creepy. And there's a video, there's a video on my channel of people worshiping him like a god and saying, Trump, help us, help us, bowing down to his statue. That's just wrong on so, so many levels. So can we not, can we, can we do anything other than that, please? And I do literally mean anything. Second, can you stop being disingenuous little crap holes, please? Thank you. I cannot tell you how many times I've tried to explain to Trump supporters that uh, gas prices are not going up because of Trump. They are simply going up because supply and demand. And if you look throughout the history, it always goes up during the summer and goes back down during the winter. It also goes up around Christmas. You can look at the gas prices and they're not that different year to year. The only time they took a drastic drop was during the coronavirus when people weren't traveling. So yes, people are starting to get out more. People are doing things more and they're doing that. And when I get into a conversation with them, they tell me they know, but because we blame Trump for stuff, they're gonna blame him for this. Um, first off, and it's gonna go into our next one too, we blame Trump for the policies Trump did. When you hear us talking about why we don't like Trump, again, you can go reference that video if you want. I give you policies, things that he says, Things that he does. You can go on my TikTok and find multiple videos where I've corrected people that they've asked what I don't like about Trump that doesn't involve his Twitter. And I've given a list, a very long list of his actual policies. When we criticize, or when we criticize Trump, it's for his actual policies. When y'all criticize Biden, it's stuff that doesn't make sense. There's a lot to criticize Biden on. I'm literally about to make a video in a little bit of something I'm about to criticize Biden on. But the fact that y'all are blaming him for things you know he's not responsible with just to be petty and insecure little shiz nozzles is ridiculous. Which moves us on to the next thing that you all are always harping on about. Blaming him for the coronavirus deaths that he has had under his administration. We blamed Trump for the deaths under his administration because he actively lied. There's tape of him saying he wanted to downplay it for the sake of the stock market. There is a pushed fake cures like hydrochloroquine and he asked you inject disinfectant into people's bodies and he didn't send a clear and coherent message. He politicized mass. He tried to convince people that the coronavirus was a hoax. He tried to convince people that they would have easy access to medications that they didn't have easy access to medications up until recently. I mean, these are all things that we would criticize him for because he's doing bad things. <laughs> Y'all are just criticizing to criticize because you don't know actual policy. Please look into Biden's policies. Whitehouse.gov has every executive order he has. Senate.gov has every bill that goes through the Senate. House.gov has every bill that goes through the House. If you're going to criticize the government, do it on actual policy, research actual policy. It will surprise you what is in actual policy. And I know bills are long, but you can read summaries. You don't have to go do what I do and read through the bills and try to decipher stuff. You can read summaries. That's okay too. I don't read state bills. I read summaries of state bills because there are too many state bills that I'm trying to look into for me to read every single bill word for word. I read summaries and go off of that. I'll be the first to admit that. I read federal bills. I read my state's bills. And then I read summaries of others because there's just too many for me to keep track of. You can do that too, you know. It takes 20 minutes out of your day to research what's actually going on in the government. And then you would actually have legitimate criticisms instead of just going off of talking points you heard on Fox News. Okay, cool. Next, can you please, please, please 
get the vaccine. It does not have things in it that are going to kill you. The AstraZeneca, AstraZeneca one is iffy. I would be, I would be concerned about that one. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. The AstraZeneca one does have some concerning things in it that do make me nervous. I would preferably like the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccine if I could pick which vaccine I was getting. Because again, if you read the research into those, they're both very good. They both have years of research behind them. No, it doesn't come from the corona, this coronavirus, but the, how they make the vaccine has years and years and years of research behind it. And they're actually very good and the new way that vaccines will probably be made in the future. So go get your vaccine. There are so many variants out there. Just go get your vaccine. Please go get your vaccine. Now here's the important one and the last one I'm going to talk about. Can you please Please stop buying into conspiracy theories that don't make sense, that don't have any evidence to back them up, that you're getting off of Acoon and 4chan and Reddit and Clapper and uh, Gab. Where's the other ones that I find it? But basically all the QAnon conspiracy theory things, they're, they, they track back to things that don't make sense. They never come to fruition. You guys ignore the ones that don't come through and latch on to like twisted alternate realities to make others seem like they're legit when they're not. You used a conspiracy theory to attack the Capitol and your radicalization is starting to really freak me out. Um, do you not understand how the Constitution works? I don't think you do. Please read a copy while you're at it. Um... None of what Q has said is even possible. It's not. It's just somebody acting like an idiot. And the Q drops are literally like the quote unquote people that do the baking that look for all the stuff. It's literally just people guessing. And then they take the best guesses and turn that into reality. Please stop following that. You are harming people. You are radicalizing yourself. You're harming people. And 50 years from now when you have to explain that to your children and grandchildren, it's not going to be a pretty look for you. So... Please don't. Like, this isn't, it, it doesn't have to be so divided and you don't have to go around saying you want to kill us. Because we don't want to kill you and we'd really prefer if you didn't try to kill us. Also, um, you're not the only ones that are 2A. I have certain things that are involved in 2A. Um, I'm very good using those particular things that I don't want to say on YouTube because I don't want to lose my monetization for this video. So yeah, stop it. Just stop it. All right, guys, I will see you later.